Hi guys, my name is C-Mac. I'm from C-Mac's Paperbacks and I'm here to do another book review with you. So I am very excited. I got access to a book that doesn't release until July of 2022, so this summer. And I get access to these, I will admit, often, but I never, this is my first time getting a book for an author that I really fangirl over, someone I'm really interested in and I would have paid for. <laughs> I might still even buy, I don't know. I, I'm excited about this one. I got to read Ruth Ware, The It Girl. Very good book. Um, really enjoyed it. Excited to get deeper into it with you in this video. Um, I would like to say, so I think I have read every Ruth Ware book. I went through my archives and started looking through it, seeing which ones I missed, which ones I should pick up and read. And I did notice that I... I always rate her around four stars. I would say that's where she averages for me, and I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. I think the fact that she was able to write books that I technically always rated four stars, but she's an author that I look to to for entertainment and enjoyment, and I, I love reading her books, and as you'll see with the review on this one, I thought about this book when I wasn't reading it and I would find myself picking it up more often than not and I would I always read multiple books at once and this one I think I just sat down and I really enjoyed so even though again I, I only rated it four stars I still really liked the book and I I think what it comes down to is the author and maybe I'm biased because I she's in my heart as someone I like but I really liked this book and her and I was thinking of doing a review just on certain authors and the books that I've read of theirs. So let me know in the comments below if that's something you would be interested in. Okay, so let's start. The It Girl. So um, what is what is The It Girl about? It's supposed to be a thriller and a whodunit mystery style book. And then that... The fact that, to me, that's not what this book is due to the fact that I think everyone will figure out who did it super quickly is really the big reason why I dropped the star on the rating. But still a good book. There are some books that the where they're set, I mean, people I'm interested in just is it in Paris? Is it in New York? Is it in Scotland? I like this one. Is it in Oxford? I mean, there's just some books where the setting makes the whole book. And for me, that's what happened with the It Girl. I was obsessed with what was going on, where she was, um, where Hannah, her friends and her life. And to me, this book isn't a suspense whodunit novel. You know, it's a it's a fictional story about a girl going to school and something bad happens and then she goes to explore it later in life. And if you think of it like that, I think you'll be on the same page with me. It's a, it's a good book. You know, there's no, to me, there's no huge climax, maybe. I mean, yes, in a technical sense, there is in the way the book works, but because... I figured it out so early in the book. Ruth dropped way too many hints. Um, to me, I just enjoyed the ride, and I did. I really, I thought it was a good book. Um, overall, this book is a good book. The characters, I believe, were well done. I think I might be in the minority in that, reading other people's reviews. But I would, I would give it two thumbs up and a solid four out of five stars for this book. Um, so let me know what you think in the comments below. Were you able to get an early access? Are you looking forward to it? Did I make you not look forward to it? <laughs> I hope not. I hope that no matter what my ratings say, you always go out there and read it yourself. If anything, just to get your own opinion, to say I'm wrong whatever. So let me know in the comments below what you think. Let me know if you have any book recommendations. Um, and I'll see you next video. Thanks guys. Bye.